Today we're going to assemble a Verona Roma bed. This video assembly covers the 2 foot 6, 3 foot, 4 foot, 4 foot 6 and 5 foot. Your bed may look a different size but the assembly instructions are the same. So let me introduce Heather who's going to show us how it all goes together. Let's start by putting some of our wood glue in a pot and putting it aside for later. Lay the headboard as shown with its pattern facing upwards and lay a large leg either side. These legs are different so you need to pay attention to the pattern of the holes. Three holes facing upwards and four holes facing towards the headboard. Same on the other side. Three holes facing upwards and four holes facing toward the headboard. Now turn one of the legs over so the four holes are facing upwards. We want to put a dowel in this hole here and another dowel in this hole here. Now take a couple of the large dowels and cover half of the dowel in wood glue. Place the dowels glue side down into the dowel holes. You'll need to gently tap them in with a hammer. The note of the hammer will change when the dowels have bottomed out. Don't worry about a bit of excess glue, we'll sort that out later. But for now, we need to coat the other half of the dowels in glue. Now present the leg up to the headboard and push the dowels into the headboard as shown. Squeeze them together, make sure they're a good tight fit. Now take two of the coarse threaded screws and screw them through the leg into the headboard and then tighten off with the allen key provided. We need to repeat this on the other side of the headboard with the other leg. Don't worry if any glue seeps through, it's easy to wipe off with a damp cloth. Now lay the footboard with a small leg either side. Make sure the curved smooth edge of the footboard is toward you. These small legs are also different. Make sure the three holes nearest the top of the leg are facing upwards and the three slightly lower holes are facing toward the bed end. And make sure the leg on the other side is positioned in the same way. Now turn one of the legs as shown and take two dowels and insert them into the top and bottom holes in the leg, glue side first. and gently tap them in with a hammer as we did earlier. Once again coat the other half of the dowels in glue, then present the leg up to the footboard and push it together firmly. Then take a coarse threaded screw and screw the leg to the footboard, finishing off with an allen key. And you'll want to do the same for the other side, so that your bed end now looks like this. Now take a small dowel, coat it with glue and tap it into the middle hole on the leg and repeat this again for the leg on the other side. Now position a side rail as shown with its supporting rail facing inwards. Coat the dowel in the leg with glue, then put two fine threaded bolts through the bolt holes. Use these to guide the side rail onto the dowel in the leg and push the two together firmly. Now remove one of the bolts and in the hole in the side rail place a cup nut and screw the bolt into that cup nut. As you screw the bolt tight you will see the cup nut recess into the bolt hole. Make sure it's fully recessed into the bolt hole and that the bolt is tight. Repeat this also for the lower nut and bolt. And we want to do exactly the same on the other side with the other side rail. Now take two small dowels coated in glue and tap each one into the middle hole in the legs of the headboard. After coating the dowels with glue, you can attach the headboard in the same way that you attached the footboard. Remember to tighten all four bolts so the cup nuts recess nicely into the side rails. Now take the wooden slats and lay them out on the side rails as shown, ribbon side downward. 
Now take the six small screws. Screw the center slat to the side rails as shown. Do this also for the slats at either end of the bed. Your Verona Roma bed is now ready for its mattress and a good night's sleep. Thank you for watching.